and I don't know what's going on with you or what's happened to you, but I know that you have your stuff that you don't talk about. I know that. But something's going on with you, and I'm sorry about that. I am. But that doesn't mean that you get to stop being Olivia Pope. That's who you are. You are the gladiator. I would gladly follow you over a cliff. But you gotta show up. You gotta be a warrior. You don't get to pick and choose when the real Olivia Pope walks through that door. The person I admired more than anyone I've ever met, the woman I thought I wanted to be. Sometimes being that woman means making the call no one else can make for reasons no one else can understand. Because no one else could live with themselves doing what you... I do what I have to do. You killed a teenage girl because it was convenient for you. The most honest thing that I can tell you about myself right now, Kendall, is that I'm a man in love with an incredible woman. Have you ever stopped to consider how painful it's going to be if you succeed? If he actually does walk away? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've seen you two together. You breathe in sync. I love you. Enjoy seeing this side of you. You are happy, and I think it's wonderful. Like stars that shine in darkness, go so bright. You once told me I'd have to dim my light. My mystic being held by gravity. I almost you hold me back from everything. Who you are? What? You? You are Rowan's greatest achievement. You have become exactly the woman he raised you to be. Power hungry, entitled, dangerous. And the beauty of it is, you don't even know it. I'm not him. I am better than this. I am better than him. You ever think what would have happened if you never met him? Where you'd be in the world? You think you think you'd be a better person? Okay, that's offensive. I'm sorry. Not better, different. You think you'd be a different person? If I'd never met Fitz. If you'd never met Fitz. Come on. You understand. I raised a warrior. Everyone and everything that you love is a weakness. Eyes on the prize, baby. Don't you ever get lonely? I ran the world, too. And everything that went wrong happened when we were together. Everything. Without you, I was better. With you, you were better with me. You know that I know you were better. Love you. Tell me you know that. 
I'd be exactly the same. No different. <laughs> no change whatsoever, and I know that, Liv. I can answer that question, Liv. You're thinking about what I asked earlier, whether you'd be different. Of course I'd be different. It's not even a question. I love you. I want Sunday dinners with you, to share this world with you. I want a father, but cross me again and I will kill you. If there's one thing you've taught me, it's that family is a weakness. Mm. What is it you call yourself? Smart? Prey? <laughs> well, that's what I've become. No, you're not smart, Prey. You're the predator. It's lonely. I know. I really do know. You, you, yes, you would be exactly the same. You're incapable of change. But that's not something to be proud of, Cyrus. That's good strong drink it's always been the only way f for me to calm my mind to stop the gears turning the darkness now when I have a drink it's all still there no drink can take it away no meal no man not even the presidency I'd guess Can you st still enjoy a drink? You can, I bet. I'm glad for you. You said we were the good guys. We are. Really? I mean, is Olivia, is she one of the good guys? No. She's not one of the good guys, she's the best guy. It's not enough to say it. Gotta believe it. So it wasn't about saving me at all, was it? It was about saving your ticket. I've gone from being his bitch to yours. Put the tie on. Jake. Here. I want you to have it. I don't want it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Jake, we never had a chance. Not a real one. You don't have to be this person. This isn't you. I know you. Don't. You only dealt with me. Treated me like a human being. As long as I carried your bags, fetched your toys, kept you warm and defended. Like a good watchdog. I wanted to show up for you. One last time. Made you step out of the sun. Jake, I'm so sorry. If Quinn has to die for the Republic, then she has to die. You said that. I tried to tell myself it was for the Republic, but that was a lie. It was for me, for my own ambitions. I'm sorry, Quinn. Sorrier than you can ever imagine. What happens next? How do we restore the public's trust in our institutions? I'm sure you'll figure something out. I was thinking we'd do it together. No. Thank you. But no. I think I've spent more than enough time helping people clean up their messes. You've always wanted to stand on your own two feet. 
to step up and run this country in the way that you know it needs to be run. I'm not going to get in the way of that. You're going to be great. And I can't wait to watch you do it. <laughs> What will you do instead? What is your problem? It's a big decision. And? And I made it quickly without thinking. And? And he's done horrible, terrible things. And he somehow loves you. And you somehow love him. And you're looking for excuses because you're scared. I am not scared. Then what? What is stopping you from accepting something that most people never have? What? Share your life. Because you're not tethered to power. Because you live below the radar. Because you're free from it. Because you can. You're being offered normal. Maybe even happy. The fact that you're questioning whether you should take them, frankly, it's annoying. Live. You get to live and love and be happy. Do you know what some people would give? Okay, okay. Jeez. I got it. Whatever I want. <laughs> because if you love me even half as much as I love you, then it was worth the trip. Marry me.
miss me. They care about me. There are people out there that I love. What do you love? Who do you love? Shut up. Yeah.